Good morning everybody and welcome to day three of Vlogmas. It's actually Arctic today in the UK, so got a red nose, Rudolph, Christmas spirit. Anyway, for day three I promise you guys action and action you shall get because I'm taking you along with us on our first outing post lockdown. So with Lulu and Tally we're heading to Chowell to hire out their arena, which could be really interesting because it'll be by far the biggest and spookiest arena that Lulu has ever been in. The fences are really nice, but all like BS standard full on fillers, the whole shebang. So yeah, I'm excited to see how she finds it. You may have noticed I'm not rather turfy this morning and that's partly because of the cold, partly because it's 10 a.m. and I've already done a five hour shift. Here I am, <laughs> having already worked five hours. So I've been up since four. On top of that, it's actually Dan's birthday tomorrow and I just got a lovely little message from Amazon telling me that they've lost my parcel, which is his birthday present. So all in all, not feeling too positive. Merry Christmas. And I also have 45 minutes to a minute to leave and I have so much to do. Mum's already said that she'll be too embarrassed to take me if the horses aren't clean. So on that note, I think I will join you in the lorry, hopefully a little bit warmer, a bit more merry. <laughs> What a misty morning. Yeah, you coming? Oh, what a cute little face. Okay, so I was napping away and trying to find a replacement present for Dan. The whole journey up, so I forgot to vlog. Great, vlogs is going great. So we've just arrived, as you can probably see. I will, uh, yeah. Just show you guys what we get up to and then I'll catch up with you and tell you about the giveaway because that's what we're all here for after I've ridden on the way back at some point. Have we come somewhere fun? <laughs> Tally's not bothered. You travelled very well, didn't you? And you're going to be up first. What do you think? We haven't been here before, have we? Got a very restless Lulu here. It's her first time travelling with anything else. She's been really well behaved so far. She's a little bit restless now we've arrived. She's had something else whinnying. It'll be very interesting to see what she's like when she has to get out and leave Tawi because she's going to be up first. Basically, really what this is about for her is getting her out and seeing another arena. <laughs> um, because she's heading to Hall Place next week. So Vlogmas Day 5 guys, stay tuned. Um, for their little tiny shooting competition and that's a new arena that she's never been in so I think obviously they're not hiring that out ahead of it so next best thing we can do is just expose her to as many venues as possible and see how she finds it so that's what we're up to today and Chermo is certainly full of fillers that's a huge arena, it's got spooky jump, it's got a little water jump off to the side um, so yeah I think if she's kind of not spooked by this then hopefully that's a very good start um, Obviously as well, I don't know how many of you know this, but we only have hacking. <laughs> we, I have to show you what Tawi's doing. Oh, Tawi is not feeling life right now. <laughs> um, we only have hacking when the girls are at home. So basically lockdown has been a forced hacking holiday for both of them because we don't have an arena. Only the boys have an arena at the yard that they're at. So. Basically, it's just good to get them both out and get a bit of fitness as well because they've done a month of hacking. So yeah, Tally's are clearly looking bored by me, so I'm going to tell her as my sign to stop talking and finish getting really ready. <laughs> yeah.
Cooper. Right, as you'll see, we're all done with Lily. She was super good. We didn't do too much, but because she hasn't really cantered or jumped the past month, she's quite sweaty. So we're gonna give her a little bath. I'm gonna use our Steed and Soul soap bar, which might be a little spoiler. That's what the giveaway is. But yeah, on the whole, really, really pleased with her to jump around a course like that. I just think she's getting better every time. Hi. I can only apologise for how rushed and hectic this vlog has been. Turns out when you don't leave the yard in the lorry for months, you kind of forget how much time you need. And uh, everything's a bit hectic. <laughs> Tally's a little bit excited and quite bouncy, but it is such a beautiful arena and I'm just waiting for mum to put the jumps up and then we can uh, get going. Fence from home, 
a new fella on a four-year-old who's never really seen fillers before. Fair enough, she had a little look at it, but she came around, jumped second time, really super duper honest, and I think that's the first time she's ever stopped, so you know, you can't exactly blame her. On the whole, just think she's improving so much, and I'm really, really excited to get her out and competing. Then on to Towie, who was, yeah, amazing. It's so nice to be back out jumping Towie and having that flying feeling again. She was on really good form. She was loving it, pulling me into all of the fences. She got pretty hot and sweaty um, because she needs a clip. And then I decided at the end to have a little go at some jump off turns on her because she was just feeling so up for it. And actually that jump off would not have won us any prizes. Sackle Jockey didn't ride that well. I was getting quite excited, having a bit of fun because it's been a long time since I've done any jump off turns. I don't have... I don't, have, I don't have the guts to do it on the boys and the fences get a little bit bigger, but when they're like 90 centimetres, it's good fun. So really happy to have Towie out. She was, yeah, loving life and feeling great. Got quite sweaty because she's a clip. So we gave her a little wash off at the end with the Steed and Salt soap bar, which brings me on to today's giveaway. Now, if you followed this channel for a while, Steed and Salt should be a name that's very familiar to you because I have spoken about them in a couple of previous vlogs. I really am a huge fan of them, which is why I'm super duper excited that they have got involved with vlogmas giveaway number three and you can be winning one of their stocking filler gift boxes which is great and included in that is a soap bar of your choice one of their soap bar bags some white chocolate coins for you and a little sort of bath bomb for you as well so it's a nice little festive gift box for you for your pony it's great prizes up for grabs and you know how much i rave about the steven soul soap bars i will insert some pictures now of photos i've taken with them or videos of me using them i used it in my cross country vlog with Towie a few weeks ago or a couple of months ago now i just think they're great um they're such a cool sort of way of having soap it's like in a bar rather than in a bottle there's not loads of plastic it goes to waste they're very yeah they last a really really long time you don't waste loads they don't leak I just think they're great. So that is what you can win in the giveaway number three, which will be live on my Instagram page 48 hours after this vlog goes live. And it will only be open for 48 hours as well. So as per usual, head over onto my Instagram, get involved, you don't want to miss out. I'm sure you guys know where it is by now, but if not, where have you been? It's at Flo Carter Eventing, get over there. You need to be following me and Steven Soul to enter. So I think, I think that's pretty much everything I've got to say in this vlog. It's gonna have been a bit of a short, disjointed one. If this is your first time watching me head out and about, I promise, usually there's a little bit more sustenance to them. The eventing vlogs, the competition vlogs, but today has just been rather, rather busy. But it's been nice to be back out and I'm glad that I took you all with me. And then hopefully I'll take you with me when we go for Lulu's first competition as well. Next vlog of Vlogmas is meant to be where I sort of go through the bee calendar and pick out what I'm hoping to do and hoping to achieve next year. We haven't actually released their calendar yet. So we'll have to see whether that actually happens. If not, I'm gonna have to get my thinking cap on and try and find a bit of an alternative. But don't wanna bore you guys now. That's for me to stress about behind the scenes. So if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Are you happy to see me back out and about again? I certainly am. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.